Hello friends, today I'll show you how to store information in different languages in Java using MySQL as a database. So first we need to set that language to our keyboard. In Windows 7, go to the control panel, clock language and region, and here change keyboards or other input method. Bin the keyboards and the language tab, click on the change keyboards. Here you can see I have already added Marathi as the original language of Maharashtra in India. Same way you can add different language to your keyboard. To add that language to keyboard, click on the add. Here you can see all ample languages list in that you can choose whichever language you want to set to your keyboard. So I'll set Hindi as a language. To the so click on the plus symbol next to the language and click plus symbol next to the keyboard check the box ok and apply here within the language bar there is there are setting for the language taskbar appearance and in advanced key setting you can set the shortcut key for the language bar click ok so you here you can see the language bar show the language bar you can select the language to set to the keyboard so we will create a database to store our information we'll create database i'll name it as a lang and we need to set its character utf8 utf8 is a mm, encoding system which encodes all the characters into Unicode and call it as a UTF-8 underscore general underscore CI UTF-8 underscore general underscore CI is an international standard algorithm to convert the characters into Unicode so we'll create this database so database is created we'll see yes here we have a lang database and now we'll use that database so use lang we'll run this okay now we'll create a table we'll name it as a human being and person name as a where care should not be null person age as a where care you can take it as a hint if you want not null we'll set its character to atf8 oops call it as a utf8 underscore general underscore ci so we'll create this table already exist yeah it's created so this way you have to create a database using this unicode you can also create directly using this ui create database name of the database and the character set you can set here retrieve it so if you do not have this gui you can directly type these queries and this execute these queries in your mysql command so now we'll go to the gui so you can see here i have used marathi language mighty means information so same way you can set your language to these components I'll show you how to set that you have to select your language set it to the keyboard now click on the component whichever you want to add to the frame so I have added this and you can type the text in this manner you can add the text your own language text to the components So now I'll show you 
what you have to do while making the connection when you create connection you have to type gdbc mys colon mysql colon localhost and this is the lang that is the name of my database after that you have to just add this question tag and use any code equals to true and character unique encoding equals to utf-8 this only changes you have to make and the rest of the coding is same as you make the connection to connect to the database so there should not be any space between these words so I'll show you how it works we'll select human being table so now it doesn't have any record stored in it so we'll run this Here, I'll add my name. Oops. Okay. Uh, I forgot to tell you that when you want to enter the information in your language, you have to select this language. Now I have selected Marathi language and I'll store the language, the information in my language. Jatankara means store. So here you can also set the language to the J option pen dialog. So in this manner, you can set these different languages. And Dakwa means show. So here, the information is display. Let's store another record here new information is added the first is nothing but the name now means name and y means age I just added that as a default value so this is name and this is my age so this way you can add different language information to the components and also store in the database will show you how it gets stored so you can see here the information stored in multi language so the same way you can choose your own language to store the information into the mysql database thank you for watching my video please like share and subscribe for more videos